The Keynote 21 data suggested that, that uh, combination of pembrolizumab with platinum doublet chemotherapy, pemetrexid uh, carboplatin, uh, was associated with a 55% uh, objective response rate, uh, more than, well, almost double that of chemotherapy alone, which is in the region of uh, 25 to 30%, I think it was 29 in this particular study. And, and but what was particularly interesting is that the benefits of combining chemotherapy to immunotherapy seemed to extend also to pdl one negative tumors. So these are tumors that we would um, not use immunotherapy at the moment as first-line uh, treatment. Those are the more challenging tumors and certainly LKB1 mutant tumors, STK11 mutant tumors would fall into that in, into this category. So by combining chemotherapy with immunotherapy we're achieving an at least additive effect. Um, I, I don't think we know whether yet whether it's synergistic but there is an at least additive effect and um, so that would definitely represent a very valid treatment option for patients that express very low levels of, of PDL1. Whether the chemotherapy uh, induces changes in the tumor microenvironment or facilitates antigen presentation and by doing so enhances the effect uh, of the PD1 targeted agent, I think the mechanism will need to work out to be worked out. But this is certainly um, a treatment option for patients uh, for whom e e monotherapy with a PD1 inhibitor is not currently indicated.